In this tutorial, we'll see how easy it is to use multiple storyboards in one project. You may want to have multiple storyboards to keep different aspects of your app well organized. In this case, we'll have the main app storyboard in one file and the settings storyboard in a different one, which would be useful if I had multiple settings screens to organize. I'm starting in Xcode with a single view project template. On the main storyboard view controller, I'm adding label control just so we can see what we're looking at when running. I would a game button that we'd press to start the game if I were actually writing a game, and add a second button for settings, which I'll click to go to the second storyboard. Both these buttons were added on the initial view controller, and in the class files for that view controller, I'm adding an action for go to settings that I want to fire when I click on the settings button. And we need the rest of this. Then over in the implementation for that class file, I'm creating a stub for that go to se settings method. I'll come back and fill that in later. Now I'm going to add a second storyboard file that will hold all the scenes I would use for my settings, which would be useful if I had multiple screens to navigate in the settings view. I'll add a new storyboard from the user interface selections, use the device family's iPhone, and I'll call it my settings storyboard. To make, things, to make sure things stay well organized, I'm going to add a new group to this file and keep all my settings files in this group. So I'll rename the group for settings, and then move my storyboard file within this group. little reorganization here. You don't need to do any of this really, but I like to keep my files well organized as, I, as the project gets bigger and bigger. Now I need to add a view controller for the settings storyboard. And I'm going to add a label to show that this is, this is my settings view controller. And center that. I'll also add a button which will call save settings, but will actually take me back to my main storyboard and my main, the main view controller on the storyboard. Notice that the arrow is pointing to this uh, scene, which Notes that this is the initial view controller for this storyboard. I can also check to make sure that the is initial view controller option is checked in the attributes for that view controller. Okay, now I need the class files for that view controller. File, new file, and I use a UI view controller class. I'll name it my settings view controller or settings VC. And I want to make sure that the use XIB for user interface is not checked. Because we're using storyboarding, I don't need to generate an XIB file for this class. Great. Now I have all the files that I need. I'll switch to the settings view controller header file and stub out the methods I'll need for this class. So for this method, I'll call it uh, save settings. I'll declare that in the .h file. And over in the .m file, I'll make the stub for that method. OK. So now I've got the storyboards, view controllers, and the method stub set up. Let's go to the code and make the connections to get this all working. Back in my view controller implementation file, I'll write the code for switching to the settings. First, I declare a pointer to the storyboard that I created by using UI storyboard and the storyboard with name. In the name, I just pass a string that is the, the actual name that I gave to that storyboard file, minus the dot storyboard ending. 
and bundle will be nil as I'm using the default bundle. Next, I declare a pointer to the view controller in that storyboard that I want to load. I'll call that initial settings VC. And I can reference it by calling my settings my settings storyboard variable. And then instantiate initial view controller. Remember we checked to make sure that that was the initial view, view controller. I could also load a different view controller by using the method below that. We do that in a different video. Now because I'm going to load this view controller modally, I'm going to set how I want that modal view controller to display. I set my modal transition style and I pull, that pulls up a list of all the transition styles that, that are pre-built for me and I'll use a flip horizontal style. Finally, I'll just call the present modal view controller method on self, pass it the variable for the view controller I created and set animated DS. Now I need to wire up that method. First I want to make sure that this that the uh, view controller on the storyboard is actually calling the right class file. I select the view controller and then slick, switch over to the identity inspector and make sure that the class listed there is the actual that match, matches the name of the class files I've created. These are the default ones for the template so they work. Then I click on the button, go over to the connections inspector, and from the touch up inside, I can control drag over to the view controller and select the right method. Next, I want to set up the, connect, the uh, method for the settings view controller. And because I just created this modally, I'm just going to call the dismiss modal view controller method. Again, I want to make sure that the scene is actually using the right view controller class. This time, I actually have to set it. So I'm going to select the settings VC class that we, files we created that match the word of the file. Then over in the object inspector, I can do the connection for that method as well. Now, if I run the project, you can see that when I... Oops, hello. Waiting for it to run. When it runs, you can see I can click on the settings button and it'll switch storyboards and go to that settings storyboard. And I can switch back. So that's all you need to do to use multiple view controllers in one project.